suddenly found myself with a free evening, so I have a project tonight. I'm going to, I'm going to be replacing this wallet. My friend Jeremy had a cool wallet years ago in Nashville, and he told me he got it at Target, so I bought one. But it Carly and I went to this place. Tandy leather. Never been to a leather place before, but we uh, bought some leather. How arrogant do you have to be to think that you could just build a wallet instead of buying one? Um, I'm, I'm going to try that tonight, though. This is my current wallet. This is my new wallet. It's made out of paper so far. But this is my, my template, my mock-up. I used Photoshop to make a design template. I think you're supposed to use Illustrator or InDesign, um, but I don't know how to use those very well. All right, here's what it looks like printed out with the fancy measurements. I'm gonna put this on top of this leather. I think I can make two wallets if this pattern is accurate. Um, I'm gonna use this <laughs> to cut from. <laughs> all right, it's all traced with pencil. Now I'm gonna use this, the sun's about to set, so no telling how long this is gonna take. Well, that didn't take as uh, long as I thought it was gonna be. So I cut this sucker out, I've been trying to mess with it. I think I need to cut a little bit more. It's not folding. Well, I had to uh, cut a, this bigger notch here. I think it'd be cool if it was round, but right angles work better with this knife. Okay. After some more folding, I just made this entire notch way wider. It was a half an inch, and now it's a little bit bigger than that, I believe. Okay, the next step is to take one of these needles and this wax thread and sew four little dots. This is the needle. This is a leather needle, evidently. Paid $4 for this pack. I'm gonna also use it as a hole punch, a leather punch. I decided to use a thumbtack to poke a hole in the leather and I know you're supposed to cut a hole in leather but I don't have a leather cutter I just have nails and I'm going to use a bigger nail and a hammer to uh, make the hole stretch out a bit bigger so it's easier to sew because um, I know how to sew. Did I say I know how to sew? I, I sort of know how to sew. My mom taught me a few things when I was younger and I had a clothing line with Jerry but yeah I'm just going to fold this over and all right, the sun is setting, but uh, I got one, one part sewn. So I'll do the other one. It's kind of blurry. Well, it's uh, it's all sewn. I probably could put a stitch down here at the bottom, but look at that, a wallet. It'll stretch. This stitch turned out a lot better than this stitch. The second one, my needle broke. Oh man, uh, so I kind of had to give up a little sooner than I wanted to. Okay, the next step is to get the credit cards in uh, in there. I gotta cut a little slit. Holy cow, I made a wallet. Once I sit on this thing for a few days, I think it'll really be something. Excited, prototype number one. Well, it got dark, uh, but it worked. The wallet worked. I think I could do better next time, um, but this will do for now. I was totally uh, ripping off a design from a San Diego, probably a San Diego artist. I saw it at a store and it was $70. So um, we went to the store. So I just decided to make, make my own. And I guess it worked. It was fun. Um, next time I would do some things different. But this only cost $16 for the leather. And there was $4 for the, the thread. Four more dollars for the needle. But I can use those things over and over again. Okay, I have, I have enough leather left over to make one more wallet. So I get two, two wallets for less than $30. Um, and I could have bought, you know, a, a cheaper wallet at Target again. But this is a leather wallet and I made it. And Carly was very entertained. It was just cheaper than us going to the movies because she was laughing.